is going on here? Merry Christmas, Charlie Good morning, Ephida. My name is Seth. Ah! That's Jenna. And this is Clay. Clay is a little tired this morning and is unable to physically move his mouth, so I'm speaking for him right now. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Listen up! Do you want free candy? Every day this week there will be four yellow Avidam hands hidden around the school. Think of it like an egg hunt, but it's, uh, it's not Easter, so... If you find one, bring it with you to the lunch and turn it in at the Avidam table for your prize. Don't find an Avidam hand? No worries. Stop by the Avidam table for a piece of candy and other goodies. What What's is Avidam? What is Avidam? I'm sorry, you were supposed to ask that question. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Avidam empowers youth to shatter the silence surrounding teen depression, suicide, and other issues facing teens. The word Avidam means, I've got your back. Clay, I've got your back. Uh -oh. Avidam inspires Ephrata High School and our community to adopt a culture of care and advocacy for one another. We've got your back. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Please help Mrs. Batdorf with her holiday wish of completing CTC applications. There would be nothing nothing that would make her happier to than have piles and piles of completed CTC applications by December 22nd deadline. Swing by the Media Center after school on Thursday to learn how to download and access free audio and ebooks to keep you reading over break. From 2.45 to 3, Mrs. Englert will show you how to access OneDrive from any device, like your cell phone, or your laptop, or your tablet, or whatever device you may have. Ten free drinks will also be given out. That's a steal. Want to make your library fines do some good? Pay up before the holiday break. All fines are collected in the month of December. Will be donated to, to the Santa Shop 12 and Up. The Santa Shop 12 and Up purchases gifts for all students at EASD who are less fortunate. There is almost $400 up of unpaid fines right now. A lot of money. <laughs> Clear your account and start the new year fresh. Now over to Mary with the news. Hey guys, Burn. today's headlines come right from our own Mountaineer newspaper. Uh. Read all about the beginning of winter sports, including rifle, basketball, and swimming. You can read about the effects of social media, how that might affect your life, and NHS inducts 51 new members. That's a lot. Read all about it in the Mountaineer. On this day in 1957, rock and roll singer Elvis Presley received notice that he was being drafted into the United States Army. Merry Christmas to him! Elvis was quite possibly the biggest celebrity of the time, already gaining status with hit songs and a successful film. Tens of thousands of fans wrote to him asking him not to go, but Elvis knew it was his patriotic duty. He stayed in Company D for two years, then returned home to make more music. Here's an interesting fact. When he got his required polio shot on national television, vaccination rates shot from 2% to 85%. While Elvis reacted to the draft in a calm manner, celebrities being drafted would continue to be an issue, especially during the anti-war era of the 60s and 70s. Now over to the media center with lunch. Today for lunch, we have um, Mountaineer popcorn, chicken bowl with whole grain roll and margarine. Garden burger with cheese, a whole grain roll, uh, barbecue chicken patty with cheese and a whole grain roll. Oh, back at me. Where we at? Uh, turkey BLT flatbread. Oh, snap. Um, taco salad. Uh, steamed corn. Whipped potatoes. Grape tomatoes and dip. Mandarin oranges and a fresh fruit or a slushy. A slushy. 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 slushy.
Ride with the mob, hum do Allah. Check in with me and do your job. Erg is the name, Ben Baller did the chain. Torn on for the watch, Prezi playing Jane. <laughs> yeah, Magini chain, rest in peace. Turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain, turn over chain. You see big homie get a fumble. Hey, students. In sports resorts, both boys and girls swimming lost against Hemfield. Boys lost 118 to 52, and the girls lost 109 to 61. Wrestling lost against Lebanon, 42 to 24. I guess the chair's stuck now. In rifle action, Ephrata defeated Mayhem Central, 496 to 495. These are the top five students. Samantha Hurst, 100 and one center. Kyle Good, 100. Joel Potts, 99 and one center. Joel Potts? Madison Messner, 99. Colleen Hurst, 98. Today, bowling is at Cedar Crest. Boys basketball is away at Cocalico. Um, and girls are at home versus Solanco. <clears throat> now back to the moon desk. <laughs> <laughs> the winning homerooms for the Christmas charity are... Drum roll, please, Clay. <laughs> In third place, getting the best gift of all. High fives from Mr. Marzok, the Media Center homeroom with $238. Woohoo! Nobody's gonna join me on that one? Okay. Nice. Excellent job, Media Center. Yeah. In second place, getting a regular donut party, raising $250, is another drum roll, please. Ms. Dumbox homeroom, congrats to your homeroom. Your donuts will be arriving this Friday morning, so come ready to eat. And in first place, raising $450, that's a lot of money, and receiving the Deluxe Donut Party is one more drum roll. Can I have one more? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Rasmus's homeroom, oh! amazing job. Yeah! Your Deluxe yeah. Donut Party will be arriving Friday morning, so come ready to eat. Thank you to all homerooms for your support this holiday season. It is because of each student, teacher, and staff member in this building that we were able to help many local Ephrata families have a great Christmas this holiday season. Judging for the door decorating contest is today. 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 That's right. Yes. Yeah. So hurry, so hurry up and finish those doors before the judges reach your door today. Hey judges, don't forget to look at Effort AM's doorway if don't you want to take a walk down memory lane. Yeah. And go through don't, the don't whole hallway. Don't All forget right. us. Okay. Have a great day, Effort Yeah. Just have a great day. Have a moral day. Okay? <laughs>